across the cage, hiding out of the red corner, please welcome, Dave Shelvany! Catch weight, 90 kilos, we've got John Weaver from Rotherham and Dave Shalmadine from Stoke. Very slow, methodical fight from uh, start from both fighters. Yeah, there's definitely a difference between the 57 kilo starts and the 90 kilo fight yeah, starts. Yeah, just keep just keeping the distance. He's already worked out his range. It's a nice low kick there from Weaver. Quite a significant size difference between the two fighters. Yeah, it's shorter, stockier, taller, leaner. It's a nice steady opening to the fight. Shelmadine does look like he's just waiting for that opening to appear. He is, but he, he's also buying into every feint that Weaver's throwing, which could cost him later on in the fight if he starts timing them. It's a nice, stiff jab. From the Southport Orthodox stance, the fight's really open to the body kicks when he's switching stance there. Like now. So it's not a very fluid switch in a stance. It's quite a quite a cumbersome. Yeah, definitely. You can, you can see it coming a mile off. Yeah. Like now, see if you, you know if you, one of them rips that body kick in. It lands flush. It's a very cagey opening. I think that was actually the first strike that Shelmadine's actually landed on his opponent properly. It's a nice right hand there from Weaver. It's low kick to the outside of the lead leg. It's a nice Good job, job over the top. Fifteen seconds to go in this round, I believe. Very cagey start to the fight. Yeah, not a lot of talking points. Not much in the way of highlights so far. It's, it's two guys, you know. You know, they're both definitely looking to pick the shots. They're not just coming in for a brawl. You know, there's something to be said for that. No, it's a chess match. Definitely. I think first round's got to go to Blue Corner. Yeah. And, you know, he's the only guy, that he only really landed anything. Yeah, and no, I don't think he, he landed an enormous yeah. amount himself. I, I mean, Shell I think he, he got one, 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 inside. Front, one front kick to the body. Yeah, an inside low kick. And then Blue Corner's landed a few jabs. I think he landed one straight right. You've got to lead towards Blue. Yeah, yeah I, w I wouldn't disagree. Weaver looking to come running out there. Seems like he's starting this second round with a bit of intent. You get the feeling this is one of those fights that could just explode into life at any any moment. Yes, yeah, opens with a nice jab. No, we, Weaver, 11 years the younger. That's a nice break and a, j and a straight right. That's a bit more like it. Now he's landing yeah. flush. Shalmadine looking for the takedown. 
doesn't want none of the striking exchange. Weaver straight back to the feet. Shalmudin got all the work to do again. He's ducking into those punches, but he's, he's, he's not ducking and weaving. He's, he's ducking and staying there. Yeah, he, he's got away with it there. Every time the shot's throw, his head goes up. So his head goes, as soon as he, he buys every feint. Both the same, they both go backwards with the chin in the air. But he's now landing some good body punches. Yeah. It's a nice low kick. That's yeah. really hurting that has. That's two or three times he's chopped away at that left leg. Of course, taking away that left leg takes away the orthodox stance, forcing him into a south. Yeah, I mean... I think we're coming up to the halfway point in the round now. Much more lively from both fighters this time. Yeah, definitely more lively, but... It's a nice takedown, caught the kick. We're still in the B-class rule set here, so there's no headshots on the ground. Yeah, we're having trouble passing the guard, although he has managed to do it yeah, now. Yeah, he's just smashed his way through the guard. Nice, solid side control position there. Not the most artistic of guard passes, but effective nonetheless. Yeah, at the end of the day, it doesn't have to be anyway, as long as it works. Weaver, interestingly, turning the wrong way and giving up his back here. He should really be turning into him. Although there I is, think, I there think is, Shalman is attacking a Kimura here. I think he's got the key lock. Unfortunately, it's the wrong angle for us to fully see. Yeah, I, I can only see behind. I'm only guessing it's a Kamori. Weaver doesn't look too bothered by it, though. No, he's trying to set up, which would be the wrong thing to do. And he's escaped. Big bridge there. First him off. Turn around on a around, takedown. Uh, take him, go for the takedown. He's got it. Yeah, I mean, it, Dave Shalman, he really he come alive in the second half of that round. But that caught that kick, swept the foot, just blazed his way through the guard to side control. Attacked what looked like a Kamora from here. Yeah, he's he's gone for a couple of takedowns. He's not quite got his hands linked up, so. There's, there's a lot of posturing around with, with holding a leg and lifting it up, but not quite getting enough to get him off the ground. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, if you look at the, the first part of that second round, you know, Weaver was the better, better on the striking. Shalmini started the round almost showboating without doing much. Trying to egg him on, goad him. It'll be interesting to see what Shalmini's like with that left leg down over. Yeah. took a couple of hits on the left leg I mean we're going into the final round potentially I'm going to say I'm going to say red corners two rounds down I think it could be all or nothing for the Stoke hometown it, guy here it could be it could be given that he's, he's, he's built his entire attack on swinging for the fences and looking for the one punch knockout it may just be exactly what he needs to kick himself into gear yeah he's, he's, I think it's I think it's all or nothing for the local guy here. It's a big takedown, that is. That's a good takedown. Straight into side control. Again, Weaver turning away, giving up his back. We might we might see Shalmadine go for the... Start trying to attack that Kamora again. But strong underhook from Weaver. He could use this to stand up. And he is doing. He's giving up his neck. He's got hold to the head and he's just holding on to the head here. Now he's taking the back, but not too fluently. Nice heavy top game here. 
There's a lot of threat of submission, but not actually much in the way of execution. No, no, it's, it's definitely a, a, a dominant position. Guy's got his arms up there, he could attack arm bars. I'm going to say he needs to attack Summit. I, I, I believe that he could be down. Weaver's worked his way back to the feet. Shalmudin finds himself, he's back against the cage. Just over the halfway point in the round. Then he I can't the see what's leg. going on. He's got his hands clasped for the single leg and he's taking him down again. Is it the takedown again? Final minute. Weaver again, turning away, giving his back. He's creating a nice frame though for space. Shelmanin's going for the arm, but he's going for the wrong arm. Shelmanin is tired. Oh, he's that wrapped lock. up the guillotine. If he comes up on top here, he could finish this. It's all men, it's going to be difficult. He's tapping, he's tapping, John Weaver with the arm in guillotine, both guys have given everything, you know, they're both on the back of the cage. Yeah, you could, you could see 30 seconds from that submission. Yeah, I, I think part of that submission was fatigue. Yeah. Yeah. 